Morocco. Hello everyone, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. And today, the battery location and how to check the battery on your BMW Mini. This is the BMW Mini Cooper F56 model here. And what we're going to do today is just check the battery, make sure it's got a good charge and that it is charging correctly. Now, the first thing you need to do is open the bonnet or the hood. And there's a link above now about how to do that. And to actually get to the battery, if you ever want to replace it, you need to remove eight bolts and fasteners. And I'll show you those now. So you've got three bolts here, which are eight millimeter sockets. You've also got a fastener there. It's just a flat ended screwdriver, another plastic bolt there, three more here, which you can just do with a flat ended screwdriver and one more plastic bolt here. And you also need to remove this weather bar rubber strip here as well. Just lift that upwards and then you can just lift the cover off the battery and that gives you access. There is a link above now about the OBD2 port location on your Mini Cooper F56. But to test the battery, we can just use this negative terminal here and the positive terminal, which is under this cover. Likewise, if you ever need to jumpstart the Mini, you can use these terminals. So to, let's test the battery. So take your digital multimeter, set it to the 20 volt setting, which is the nearest setting as it's a 12 volt battery. Take your red node, put that on the positive terminal. Make sure you've got a good connection. Take the black node and put that on this terminal here, which is sticking up. And we've got a voltage of 12.17, 12.18 volts, which is pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start up the Mini and then make sure that it is charging correctly. Now make sure that after you've started the Mini that it doesn't turn itself off again because obviously the Mini has got stop start technology. So make sure that the engine is definitely running when you're testing the battery. OK, so the engine is definitely running. So now we're just going to test it again. It should be a lot higher. And it is. We've got 14.80 volts, which is absolutely perfect. And there is a link above now about the fuse box location and how to check the fuses on your Mini Cooper. OK, let's pack that all up. Don't forget to put the cover back on over the positive terminal. Close the bonnet. Make sure you lock the vehicle and then it's time for a lovely cup of tea. If you're going to be working on the Mini Cooper, make sure you've got a lovely cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.